Mom and Grana. Mahal ko siya. Most beautiful celebrity. Growing up with a good-looking brother, yes. Best 6,000 pesos I've ever spent in my life. Oh, and they love Coco, so it's like, Bakit ka masama kay Cardo? He lived to like annoy me. We used to like want to kill each other all the time when we were younger. Yeah. <laughs> and then I bit him and he blood. <laughs> I'm Gia with Jessica and you're watching G Talk. She is an actress and a TV host. And the daughter of veteran actress Sylvia Sanchez. Do you know that her family calls her a walking encyclopedia? We are talking about none other than the beautiful Rhea Atayde. Wow, wow, yeah. Hello. <laughs> walking encyclopedia. Yep. You are so yep. beautiful. Thank you. You guys too. Oh my God, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we have a lot of things to talk about, but we want to get to know you first. And we want to do that through our G-Talk two-minute fast talk where we mention words and phrases and you respond with the first thought that comes to mind. So we will try to finish everything from A to Z in under two minutes. Are you ready? Okay. okay. Yeah? Yeah. No explanation necessary. Just say the word and then we'll move on. Yeah, just one more. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's start it off. Assumptions about you. Intimidating. Most beautiful celebrity. <laughs> Christine Hermosa. Cow and chicken. Chicken. Damsel in distress. No. Favorite, <laughs> favorite expression. Favorite. Expression. Uh, oh my. Oh my. Yeah. Uh, fight. The worst you've had with your brother. Worst fight I've had with my brother. Uh, when we were kids, I bit him and he bled. <sighs> Galit ako sa blank. Galit ako sa gobierno. <laughs> Hanggang may buhay ako ay. Lalaban. I can't live without family. Juan Carlos is my brother. <laughs> Kikai Kit. Lip balm. Look oh, lookalike celebrity. Yeah. Like uh, lookalike celebrity. Yeah, like who do people oh. mistake you for? Casey Conception. Mengai or Main Mendoza? Oh, uh, Mengai. Well, it works both ways because Mengai is my assistant and main, so I guess Mengai. So it's two people. Never have I ever eaten balut. Obsessed with my cat. Best prank you did. Best prank? Ah, uh, oh my god, I'm not. Oh, pregnancy test. I told my friend I was pregnant in high school. <laughs> Quarantine made me realize that blank. Life is fleeting and we should really say what we mean at any point of time. Rap two lines. Rap. This one is for the boys with the boom. It's just the top down they see where the cool is. <laughs> Sand the boys. No more. No more. <laughs> Best excuse to avoid getting a ticket from a cop. Cry. Just cry. Like, you don't even say it. Just cry. Umamin ka na ang blank. Umamin ka na. Mahal ko siya? I don't know. <laughs> uh, vacation disaster. Uh, lost luggage? Wedding bells. Not anytime soon. <laughs> Ex boilet na makulit. Ex boilet na makulit. Wala. Thank God. <laughs> Yagit. You get myself on a regular day when I don't fix myself. <laughs> Zodiac sign love compatibility. Oh my, because I'm an Aries, so they say Gem not a Gemini. I don't know Virgo, ideally. I don't know. 
the reason why we said cow and chicken is because you said you mentioned that in your Instagram post. Cow and chicken is a cartoon. Cartoon. Yes. Yeah. No, because growing up, they said that my brother and I were like cow and chicken. Because we used to always fight, but we love each other. But and we looked like cow and chicken because I was like huge as a child. <laughs> and he was hella skinny, so it worked. Cow and chicken. Our family used to call us cow and chicken. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> and then you said you bit your brother and he bled. Well, he used to always make me cry when we were younger. He lived to like annoy me. Well, probably still does. Not as much now, but for the most part, he loves annoying me because I get annoyed easily. And you know how like when somebody gets annoyed easily, you just love pissing them off even more? Like what? What would he do? I think I think that fight was because he he hid my lipstick when I was a kid somewhere and he forgot where he placed it. Oh no. <laughs> if I remember correctly. And then I remember crying because my mom wasn't there, so it was for my mom. So I was like, why why do you smell lipstick? Blah, blah, blah. And then I bit him and he bled. Ha 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 ha. And did you get punished for that? Because he was the one who bled. No. No. No? No, I didn't. Thank God. No, because they know that like he was bullying me first. So it's like you get what you deserve. Like <laughs> you guys, you guys are so close. I mean, I saw one of your pictures, like he's always kissing you and hugging you. No, my brother and I, like growing up, I feel like it's a thing. Like as you mature, it becomes easier to get along with your brother, I think. But growing up, it was always like cats and dogs kind of thing like i think it wasn't until we had the same set of friends that we really became really close although we were all each other had growing up too so it was like he was always there we were kind of friends for the most part but we liked to see each other off and then when we got older and we had common friends that's really when it became like okay we can be friends pala and even more we became best friends like it's and then he'd oh. sleep in my room um, he'd shower in my room, like my room became his room and it was the kind of thing that like when I got home from work, whatever time it would be, I can wake him up and we can chill or whatever time he gets home, he'll wake me up, we'll chill for a bit, talk about how our days went. It's nice, it's really nice. That's yeah. so nice, it's also admirable to have that kind of relationship with your brother, mm -hmm. you know? It took time. It really took time. It, it, it wasn't an easy way of getting here. We used to like want to kill each other all the time when we were younger. Yeah, <laughs> it took a lot, me right? Me my brother, yeah. <laughs> he's, my he's a year older than me. My brother is about the same, the same, a year and four months. Do you like yeah. raid his closet, or does he? Well, like I like wearing guys' shirts, so yeah. some of my shirts are actually his. Yeah, so I do. And him too, because I have a lot of guy shirts sometimes because he moved out last November. So whenever mm -hmm. he's here, sometimes like he doesn't have enough clothes, he'll get from me. But it's like the guy shirts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and do you feel sad that he moved out? Because, you know, you, you're you always together. Oh my God, I kept crying. I oh. I kept crying. I'm like, oh my God. That's a huge part of my life gone. Did he assure you of anything, you know? Yeah. Well, my brother's my brother just turned thirty, so he and I have been like talking about wanting to move out for a while now. We were actually initially we planned to move out together, oh. but he did it first, so oh. but this time, if anything, it's like I feel like he needed it as well. I mean, we both live with well, we well, I still live with my parents, and we both were on this page, and I feel like. For a lot of us at the age of 30, it's that's a little bit late, I think, like for us. So I was mentally prepared, but not emotionally, if you know what I mean. Like it's yeah. two different things, yeah. He still, well now throughout the pandemic, when, when we went on lockdown, he moved back in here. Mm -hmm. So he stayed here for a couple months and then I think towards when they kind of like eased up on restrictions, he moved back to his place, but he still comes here like every day almost. My mom was a was an antagonist on the show before, and what she had to deal with, I feel like, is worse than bashing because there was also physical, um, the, more physical back then. Like they would throw stuff at their car. 
when they knew that she was in it, they'd like shake the car in the market, stuff like that. I feel like it's a different battle now as oh, opposed so to awesome. before, but they also had to deal with it, I think. Like, it's no, just a different form. I think they did that to your mom because she was a very effective actress. That's well, what I mean, it's do. a good sign. Yeah, yeah, that's what they do. Those actresses who play contrabidas. Contrabidas, yeah. yeah. And my brother also had to deal with that a few years ago. I remember we were at a fun run for McDonald's, mm-hmm. um, I think in Cebu. And then I was already like almost done. I was like, why is he taking so long? He runs away faster than me. And then when he got to the finish line, he was like, somebody hit me with an umbrella. I'm like, what? <laughs> That's what you were dealing with? And I was like, haha, my brother's slow. Whoops. No pala. <laughs> like, <laughs> Really? And then when they hit your brother, your brother Arjo, right? Yeah, what, he just what were, they, like, what, were, what were they saying to him? Well, he was um, being, well, they were hitting him. Because my brother was a villain on Provinciano, the, the show of Coco Martin. And yeah. that's huge here. And they love Coco. So it's like, Bakit ka masama kay Cardo? And that's Coco's character name. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Did they hurt him? Or was he bleeding? Yeah, like, they hit, no man, but they hit my brother. They hit him and then he had to keep running, at least. Well, I keep that, you know, again, like you said, at least we know they're effective actors, so that's yeah. good, I guess. That's a good sign, I guess. How many people were running after him? I have no idea. I was just so happy to be done running. Like, so much work. This must be like, oh my god, I must be a very effective actor, they're running after me. No, my brother doesn't think that way, in fairness. He's just like, people are so strange, why is this happening? Like, <laughs> this is so weird. Like. So he just ran. He didn't say anything. He just ran. Nothing. He just ran. I think he just looked at them like, ran. I know many men who would turn around and punch them. So mm. yeah. no, he said that like he was really glad he had this peace of mind at that point. Because if he like he was ready, my brother's like pretty good at that. Mm. No oh. self control. Oh. So did any yeah. girls ask you to hook them up with your brother? Oh, that one I had a lot of growing up, yeah. Oh my but god. But it was, it was always fun, because if they were from my school, I'd be the, the the messenger, I'd give the letters. It was always cute. It was nice. <laughs> so he already had a lot of um, fans before. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yes. Yes. Did they send <laughs> so like, oh my god. Did they send like gifts, say, give it to your brother or something like that? Well, yeah. Yeah, that's I, I, so weird. That's life. That's life. You know, I, Growing I, I, up with a good-looking brother, yes. But you're also, <laughs> you're also good-looking, you know. Thank you, but not at, mm, yeah. Again, physical attributes. Did you go through workshops, or is it just because your mom is a great actress and you just you just have it in you? You know, you and your brother. Um, we, my brother and I, both started with workshops, actually. Okay. Actually, I feel like, yeah, that's like the misconception about children of celebrities here. I think people real, don't realize that we also have to work for it. Mm-hmm. Like, the stuff that my brother and I got initially, we actually had to audition for it. To this day, we still audition if we need to. Although my brother, his story with acting was like, ever since we were kids, he really wanted to do it. Then Wait. he did workshops. Gee, talk. We need a full chat. There you go. This is my room. This is my favorite sculpture right now that's my pile of stuff i have to take pictures of and post okay. <laughs> all the stuff given to me by people and that's like random stuff and then yeah okay my plants oh you're a plantita too yeah actually prior to the lockdown oh. and that's my bed it's messy right now there's so much stuff <laughs> my closet why are there so many cele- celebrities into plants right now? Um, because they're like raising pets. So this is where the mess is. Are you ready? Oh yeah. Ta-da! Hey, wow. I see a cat, cat house. A cat Cas- house. Oh, yeah. Cas- Caspian. Caspian. Oh, what a nice name. Oh, sorry. Oh, he's-, he's so That's cute. Guy. Oh my god! Oh, so handsome. Oh, he's so cute. Oh. Wait, is he a, a Scottish fold? No, oh, he's a Persian yeah. Himalayan. Best 6,000 pesos I've ever spent in my life. Oh, my yes. <laughs> 6,000? Yeah. yeah, that's so cheap for a pet. 
I know. That's here for about 20, 30. Yeah, oh, yeah, there, that's my John Mayer painting over there. Oh, you see it? <laughs> yeah. you're into John Mayer. I love John Mayer. Oh, he's your Hollywood crush? He's just my life crush. He's so talented. Oh. <laughs>